Okay, so we're looking at this is the base part that we're looking at. And remember, it was four inches this way. Uh, and, and I just want to show you, you can measure certain things. So if I want to see how far is this distance, that'll tell me it's 0.75. Or I could click from here to here, and it'll tell me that distance is 1.25. Or I could click just this edge, and uh, it'll tell me that that's, you know, um, if I measure, you know, click measure this distance and I just click this edge, it'll tell me it's four inches exactly. So I'm going to make this side part, but I'm, I'm going to remember that uh, when I when I make this side part, I want it to, let's say I want it to be four inches this way, of course, but going up and down, let's say instead of making it a full five inches, I know I'm going to have this on the bottom. And let's say I know that, for example, I'm going to have another thing on the top. So I'm going to need an eighth of an inch less on the top and bottom. So I'm going to do uh, in a new part, I'm going to start a 2D sketch. I'm in that sketch rectangle. And so my width is still going to be that four, but the height, instead of five, I'm going to say five minus, and then I'm going to do quantity two times 0.125. It's five minus a quarter, but it's five minus two eighths uh, is another way you can do it. And so there's my part and I'm going to go ahead and extrude it. And so I'm going to extrude it an eighth of an inch and there I go. So here's my part. And now I'm going to add the fingers to go into this box and I have to make sure that I get them right. So remember the distance from the front edge here to there is 0.25. Okay. And so I'm going to come back to that part and I'm going to do start a sketch. I'm just going to go ahead and I could do it a number of ways, but I could, you know, I could put it on this face, and it's fine. And I'm going to put a rectangle in, and I'm going to make this rectangle be on this edge here and go like this. That distance right there is the 0.75, tab 0.125, enter. And the distance from up here was the 0.25. And I know I got all those coincident because it's all purple. And of course, I'm going to extrude that. And the amount I want to extrude that up is an eighth of an inch. And that's going to go an eighth of an inch into it. Now, of course, I want to do what? Rectangular pattern. A rectangular pattern that along. And I need to tell it, I want to choose this edge. And I want to go the other way, of course. And it's going to be the same thing, probably three. But I want one, and I think I did one and a quarter inch between. And I hit OK. And then now that's there. And then I could mirror it to the other side as well. Now, if I go ahead and save this part, and I'm not saving them correctly right now, but I'm doing side wall. I'm not giving them great names right now just because I don't want to um, spend the time on it. But if I go ahead and save this part, and I'm going to call this the, the bottom wall. Okay. Now I'm going to start an assembly. And I'm going to put the bottom wall in first. Okay. Put that bottom wall in first. Maybe I should have called it the bottom floor. That might have made more sense. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and ground that. And then now let's put in a sidewall. And then now I should be able to um, go ahead and do constraints. Constrain. I should be able to, for example, mate this face to this face. And then I should be able to hit apply. I should be able to flush and then I'm going to try and see what I can see here. I think it's going to be this front face to, and I'm almost positive it's going to be this face. And let's see if that worked. Hit apply. I look, and those are going to line up pretty good. And then now, the only other thing I should probably need to do is, is like a mate. And I'm going to do like this edge here to that face. And then now it is stuck in there and it won't move. And I have that assembled as I should. Um, and you can really, it's not easy to see them unless I highlight them. I could change the colors to make sure. But you'll notice I have that little bit of overhang I talked about having. Um, and that's okay. I do think that if I changed the bottom wall and I came into this first sketch and I did make, or not the first sketch, but where I made those um, fingers, if I made this zero now, I want to see what happens here. So watch if I make this zero. I hit a finish sketch. Okay, it's going to move all those out. Now, if I go to my assembly and I update my assembly, notice it moved those out, but it didn't move these out. And so I'd have to, I would have to fix that, of course. And so you want to watch, you really want to plan those sorts of changes out before you um, make any, any big changes. Uh, and you want to really plan out where are my spaces going to be so that I know that this is going to work.